Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade and thank you so much for joining me today. Now today I am embarking on a new challenge. If you're interested to find out what that is, then definitely keep on watching. I'm at the very beginning. I am going to be trying to do HIIT training every single day for two weeks and just to see what happens. So what are my results going to be? Is it going to be sustainable? Will I enjoy it? These are all the questions that I have in my mind and I'm so keen to embark on this new challenge. I also really want to highlight as well, even though I'll be doing the HIIT workout, I am going to try and aim to do 10,000 steps as per always every single day as well. I think it's just really important to mention that just so then we know that HIIT training is not the only thing that I'm doing throughout my days. So so today is day number one. Let's get dressed and let's start working out. There's nothing like the excitement of starting a new challenge or trying something new. I feel like it's always very refreshing. It gives you renewed energy. So let's go and let's try these HIIT workouts. So first things first, let's talk about the why. So why do I want to give HIIT training a go? It's because basically I have been a little bit of a slower pace as of late in my life. I went on a holiday where I didn't have much opportunity to do very many workouts besides walking, swimming, and extremely low impact workouts. Something I wanna make 100% clear is there is absolutely nothing wrong with having a slower pace in your workout style, but I wanted to challenge myself and then bring up the intensity because I find personally, I feel the best mentally and physically when I have a good and healthy mixture of what I deem to be weight training and also you know the high intensity working on my cardiovascular system. So I thought it was now the perfect time to step it up a notch and absolutely kill it. You guys know me, I will always tell the real tea. The first workout was beyond a killer. My heart was absolutely racing and pumping as you can see here. Ollie even noticed, he's such a sweetheart. I'm halfway through and I'm so puffed, oh my God. But um, I just finished the full body. Now I'm gonna do a standing abs just because I've got my new tattoo. So I don't want it you know, all over my workout mat or my rug. So I'm just gonna do a standing ab workout instead. Let's talk about some benefits that I'm looking for out of this challenge. So I want the time efficiency. I want to improve my cardiovascular health. I want to build muscle and strength as well, but I also want to improve my endurance. And of course, I think if you can improve your mental health, let's do it. Also, I think hits are great when you're starting out because a lot of the time you don't really need equipment to do these workouts. Also making them convenient. All right, I just finished and oh my God, I'm so puffed out. But that workout was absolutely fantastic. I feel really good and I feel like I'm like buzzing after that even though during I was absolutely dying. But yes, I'm about to stretch and cool down now but I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings and what workout I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not too sore. I mean, we'll see, we'll find out. Definitely really glad that I did that. I think my body is so used to doing like the steady state cardio that going up and down and stuff like that, my body is just not really used to, especially with such short breaks. So I'm definitely keen to see how that develops over the next couple of days or weeks or whatever. Um, but yeah, so really great, feeling good, feeling positive. So glad I did that. It's the morning after and I'm feeling okay. I'm not too sore. I'm just about to go into work. So yep, feeling good. Shout out to Jacob, love you. All right, I'm officially checking in. So basically today is day number two and my glutes are slightly sore from yesterday's workout, but typically everywhere else seems to be okay. But I mean, I guess we'll find out when I actually start working out. Actually not as sore as I thought I was going to be today, considering like other times. So I'm finding that to be really interesting, but maybe there's so many different factors that come into that. Like maybe my protein intake since I've been home, it's finally at a good level. You know, I'm making sure I'm doing stretching and cool down. So, hey, it's all working out so far. So I'm definitely going to do day number two uh, and we'll see how we go. My most dreaded workout is coming up. It is core and it is not for me. As you can see already, I was struggling and that was something that really, I guess I wouldn't say alarmed me. I feel like that's a bit too strong, but it was definitely something that, okay, I really seriously need to work on my core muscles, even just for my posture, comfortability, and also for the safety and integrity of other movements as well. I have gotten a little delivery. 
three. When I was thinking about getting my steps up and I was thinking about ways that I could improve that, I need a quick and easy and convenient way to get my steps up as well as going out and about and walking and whatever. What did I do? I bought a treadmill. I grabbed a treadmill off of Amazon and I haven't really ever purchased a big item like this before on Amazon. I am praying that I don't need to do too much setup because I am not good at that. Dylan is the master at that. So, <laughs> you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we'll see how that goes. Whoa, come have a closer look guys. It's newly unpacked. Okay, it's turning on. Oh, it feels so weird. Excuse the mess too, by the way. I'm just putting it in a spot that has a carpet so the wooden floors don't get damaged. But it kind of feels weird that I've got like nothing to hold on to. All right, I am about to do day number three, which is pretty much all lower body and legs. So safe to say I'm about to die, um, but I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm going to persevere and let's get to it. Here's the hit queen herself, so let's go. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying that I needed to improve on my balance. So you'll see here, I am not as stable as what I would be comfortable with. So I always say that I'm gonna include the real footage, the real things that I'm struggling with, because it's very, very important to be transparent, especially when you're trying out new movements, new exercise challenges and things like that. I find that it's really important to be very authentic and very self-aware of things that you need to work on. Otherwise, if you don't know what you need to work on or where you need to go with whatever it is that you're doing, how can you improve? How can you create a solid plan on getting to where you know you can go and you can achieve what you set out to do? Please don't get me wrong as well, guys. When I say this, I'm talking about some of the big things, even small things. It could just be how you feel when you do work out. How can we make it 1% better? Hey guys, I am back. Oh, my hair looks a little bit crazy, but just doing a little check in with how things are going with doing the HIIT workouts. I have had a couple of rest days because I don't know, I ate something and it's really upset my stomach. Well, it had really upset my stomach. I just didn't want to exercise, be jumping around, increasing my heart rate because as soon as I would start, I would just feel so incredibly nauseous. And unfortunately I had gastro-like symptoms. I'm finally in a good place now and I feel like I'm ready to jump back in and smash some of the workouts. Today I'm going to resume my workouts and feeling much better. Also an update on my study. I have now finished all the theory for my certificate three. Now I'm just awaiting for my practical day that's set in uh, like September, October period. And then hopefully in the meantime, I'll be able to unlock and start on the theory for my cert four to become a personal trainer. Time to jump up and start trying to work out. So we'll see how this goes. Feel a little bit nervous actually. I think this would be a really great time to reiterate that whilst I am doing this challenge, if you don't remember at the beginning of the video, I did state that I have been trying to get over 10,000 steps every single day as well. So if there are multiple factors that is going into this challenge, it's also eating a little bit cleaner and healthier, trying to eat a little bit balanced, even though I do indulge as well. But I just wanted to put a little reminder at this point in the video, just because I know the footage looks like I'm just mainly doing the hit workouts but I am also walking as well. I just finished my workout. I did full body and then also did a 10 minute core. And then I followed up with a 30 minute walk because I wanted to make my 10,000 steps. Now the workout was okay. I was feeling a little bit sick, like a little bit nauseous in moments of doing the full body. And then especially again, doing the core. So I sort of just eased back a little bit. I took my time and took a little bit of breaks, but I still completed all the moves, but I just took a longer rest period and then continued with the workout. So I'm feeling really good, feeling really Really positive. Um, I'm glad I've got my 10,000 steps for the day. Yay! And Ollie's here too. <laughs> on the menu, we've got a Thai green curry, but I also made some kale chips to snack on. 10 out of 10. Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a lower body workout, but unfortunately my internet isn't working, so I actually need to use my phone. So that means that I can't film, but I did want to share what outfit I'm wearing. So let's take a squeeze. I've got my Under Armour tights on. They're nice and bright. I needed a bit of motivation today. And because it's all lower body, I'm gonna be absolutely dying in this workout. I already know it. God, my internet's not working, so I need to use my phone to record. There's Albert. <laughs> 
Yay, turns out Dylan has fixed it. Hey, tech genius, switched it on and off. <laughs> So lucky for me, thank you so much to my amazing husband Dylan, he got the internet up and running so I could record my workout. This is the video where I think a turning point started to happen. I started to feel like my body was adapting and changing. My muscles themselves were not very sore, but I think in this workout I did go a little bit too quick, but I noticed there was improvement here. Okay, so that is a wrap on my lower body workout and oh my God, I'm feeling actually a tiny bit nauseous. Sorry, and I don't like working out until I actually have this feeling, which is a little bit of nausea. I try and avoid that. So clearly I've pushed myself, possibly even maybe a little bit too hard, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with big fat booty cheeks. Today also, and I forgot to mention this earlier, marks one week since I've tried doing HIIT workouts um, consistently. So I've done five workouts over the last seven days. I had two rest days because I really wasn't feeling well. Actually, I'm feeling a lot stronger. Now that a week has gone by, I feel like the moves are easier to do, especially with my lower body. I feel like doing the um, full body hits and the lower body hits are definitely paying off. And I'm actually really excited because it's such a short amount of time to see or feel development changes. So I'm feeling really positive about this. I can't wait to see what happens over the next week. Hey guys, I just got to work and Oh my God, my legs, my buns are so sore from yesterday's workout. So I'm literally going to really focus on getting my protein in today. I'm going to make sure I get up and I walk around, get some circulation to my legs because, oh, that workout yesterday was such a killer. <laughs> All right, I look crazy right now, but it's just because I just woke up. I have my coffee, I've got my laptop. Not only am I working out, but I'm working towards my goals. Time to start on the Cert 4 and let's hit it hard. And of course, my best buddy, Ollie, he's helping me achieve my 10,000 steps every single day. I gotta love him, look at him. Hey guys, so I wanted to play Frenus. So we play tennis where we hit the ball back and forth to each other, but because we get competitive, we do it in a friendly manner. So then both of us can play happily. <laughs> but I wanted to do some high intensity workout stuff. I didn't necessarily feel like doing a Chloe Ting workout strictly. So I wanted to do something where I got to run around and still get my heart rate going. So I don't think I've covered this on my channel, but Dylan and I really love going and just hitting the ball to one another, like with no real game in mind or anything like that. But it's good to get like the jogging, the running, also just the hand-eye coordination. It's actually a lot of fun. Usually we always end up like laughing and just absolutely cacking. Also, as an adult, I really realized that you kind of lose that ability just to play, just to have fun, be silly and everything like that. Like life just becomes so, so serious. So it's good to take the time out and actually just enjoy, take the risk, be silly and just have fun. I think that was a really good lesson and a really important takeaway as well. Let's have a chat about food guys. So food, I just wanna make it clear as well. Food is a very individualized and it is very specific to you. When it came to this challenge and what I decided to do for myself was I definitely ate a little bit cleaner, but I also still indulged if I felt like it. So the th type of things that I was eating was definitely things like chicken. I did eat beef. I think at one stage I also ate some lamb as well. I ate a lot of fruit and vegetables, but this is what I typically eat anyways. The only thing that I didn't really eat was Filipino food. Unfortunately, you guys know I love Filipino food and I rep it so hard, but also I phased out fizzy drinks. So typically I would drink around about two to three glasses of fizzy a day, but just because it didn't even intentionally happen, it just sort of phased out. So instead I just had my water, protein drinks. Um, I had tea, coffee, um, and I can't really think of what other drinks I had during this time, but definitely lots of water. Overall, I felt like it was a really good balance between healthy, clean, and also indulging as well. All right, guys, you know when I've got the white hair clip, it's time to work out. So I've got my outfit on, I'm ready to rumble. Let's do it. 
And yes, I did absolutely bump myself on the way out on closing the door, but let's just keep on going. To say I was excited to be finishing up this challenge honestly is such an understatement. I am so proud of myself that I really stuck it out, and by the end, I don't know if you can tell in the fluidity of my movements, but I felt like I was moving so much smoother, my energy levels were balanced out, and I remember doing this exact move in the very first, I think, workout it was, or within the first week, and I was losing my balance and not only that but I was scrunching up my face because I couldn't handle the pain. Also guys when I'm editing this I've been able to see definition in my legs and in my thighs. Oh amazing. I just finished my last workout for the two weeks. So in total I've done 10 workouts over the 14 days. So I've had two rest days per week and I'm actually feeling really great about it. I'm really really glad I put in the effort and I stuck it out and I did it. It's definitely so much easier now than at the beginning which is definitely a little bit obvious. The more you do something, the better you get at it. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself. All right, guys, the results are in, and this is why I love progress videos, because I didn't think that I would see much difference, but man, I'm seeing such a difference, especially surrounding my stomach area, maybe even my back a little bit, and behind my thighs. So I'm really, really pleased with this result, and it's actually really motivating to see. Right, guys, it's a wrap. So the two weeks on me doing the hit challenges, it's finished. It's all over. I can't believe how quickly the time went, but when I was in the middle of some of those workouts, it felt like forever, and I couldn't wait for it to be over but just in regards to my own personal feelings I actually really enjoyed it I've made a list about the first week versus the second weeks and the things that I've noticed along the way but personally I'm really glad that I did it I'm really glad that I stuck it out and I felt like I have actually achieved something now when we're looking at week number one here what did I notice and how did I feel so I wrote things down like I had to take frequent breaks so in the beginning of the video you probably noticed like I am huffing and puffing I noticed when I was doing the moves, I needed to like stop a couple seconds earlier or stop for a couple seconds within that 30, 40 second window. One thing I noticed immediately was that I needed to work on my balance. And also another thing as well was that I struggled through some of these movements. So when it came to the balance components, you'll see in a lot of the one legged movements, for example, when I was doing uh, the single leg lunges, or even when I was doing the single leg, like deadlifts with my body weight and things like that, I felt really off balance. And that was something immediately I was like, okay, I probably need to work on this because I felt like I wasn't as stable as what I wanted to be. So that is something that I have flagged mentally that I'm going to try and work on. Now, when I say that I was struggling through the movements, some of them, you know, because there were so many lunges, squats and things like that in each and every one. So when I would do um, the full body days, but then there would be lower body days too, where it was just such a repetitious movement that I knew that my muscles just were not used to doing so many many squats, so many lunges, you know, I would get maybe halfway through or even sometimes a quarter of the way through. And I started to feel that real fatigued feeling in my lower body. So to me, that's an indicator that, you know, I really needed to work on it, but also core. My core has always been a little bit shocking and I know it's something I always need to work on. The first couple of core workouts, they absolutely rocked me. By the second or third movement, man, I was struggling. That was really hard to me. Also, when I was working out, especially in that first week, I felt so slow and so sluggish. And that was something that I really didn't like at all. I don't like feeling, I feel like my movements are like lagging and things like that. I like to be able to move with ease. So having that happen, it felt a little bit discouraging. I'm not going to lie, but then I feel like that's always something to flag and work on. You're not going to be perfect every single time that you try something brand new. Muscle soreness, like what I said, doing those full body and specifically the lower body days. Oh my gosh, I think it was in the second day. My hamstrings were killing. So the muscle soreness, that was something that I, I'm used to now, or I'm really really nearly used to. I can work out and do like the lower body days and now I don't really feel as much or I can feel like they're tired but not specifically sore. So overall that was week one but I was so excited for week number two because I just wanted to get better and I wanted to see okay surely that I'm gonna have some sort of progress like I hope the 
second week isn't like this and it's just like a repeat you know I wanted to somehow see some sort of measurement of even one centimeter of progress so let's move on to week number two so week number two I did feel stronger I felt the improvement but only slight and and when I say week two I mean at the end of week two sorry I did feel improvement but it was only really really slightly so when I was talking about those points where I felt sluggish and slow I felt my speed picking up I felt my body adapting and getting used to like doing these movements and especially doing it within the allocated time as well. I needed less breaks. So by the end of week two, I barely needed any breaks at all. Where I noticed the most breaks was definitely in the core movements and sometimes in the lower body when it was at towards like the very end and I had probably done over 200 squats or lunges in that one day. Towards the end of week number two, I did feel like my balance had improved and I sort of was doing those tricks and really focusing on it when, you know, when you uh, look at a spot, a particular spot, it's like a dancer's technique or something like that. And I'm sure if you've been to like a Pilates class before or any sort of workout class, they tell you to pick a spot, whether it be on the floor or something that you can just keep your eye on when you're bending over or, you know, doing some sort of movement where you might lose your balance. So I really was mindful of that. And I did feel some sort of improvement in regards to my balance, but again, it was only very slight. And when we're talking about the two weeks, that is a very short time frame to see drastic improvements, drastic change or anything like that. But, but that's why I'm documenting it. That's why we're talking about it. And by the end of week two, I actually felt keen to work out. I felt excited. I was ready to do it. I was ready to jump straight in, hit that play button and just absolutely smash it for that day and feel like, you know, in the app, you can click like you had completed this workout and then it does like the confetti and stuff. And I felt really positive and I felt like I was actually achieving something when I would hit complete. My range of movement definitely did feel a little bit easier. So because I guess I had been working the same sort of muscle groups, it, it did feel easier towards the end there. Like when I was doing, you know, the lower body days and the core, it it did feel a tiny bit easier and really trying to adapt to those movements and getting used to them. So I did feel a change happening. Okay, and I'm gonna be super, super honest and this is like no shade to Chloe Ting or anything like that, but I did start to get a little bored of the same workout videos. So I'm actually thinking of restarting her most recent challenge, but yeah, so one thing, I did start to get a little bit bored because I noticed it was the same sort of full body days or lower body workouts. So I kind of sort of lost a little bit of interest, if that makes sense, but I was still doing them and I was still proud of myself and everything like that, but I did start to lose a little bit of interest. But overall, I am so glad that I took progress videos because I really feel like you can see a difference in my body, which I'm really grateful for, especially because this week is my cycle week. So the after progress video is usually at a time of the month where I can seem actually quite bloated or a little bit heavier looking, that kind of thing. So actually, I'm really glad I took these progress videos and I I would encourage you if this is going to help motivate you by seeing a slight difference or any sort of difference at all it helps me that's for sure and I really enjoy taking progress videos because when you do line them up side by side you get to see your body in movement you can always pause them and take screenshots but if it is something that does motivate you by taking progress videos or pictures then definitely do so it doesn't hurt to have motivation and it doesn't hurt to have these in your back pocket to keep you motivated overall I really enjoyed this challenge and I thought it was so much fun and it was a great way to challenge myself and just to try something really new and stick to it. So I'm definitely going to keep on going with the HIIT workouts. I feel like, you know, in the two weeks, I've noticed some really big changes. So I'm really excited to see where it goes and how far I take it. What I might do is, like I said, I might try out a different challenge or a different Chloe Ting challenge. Also, I really like Caroline Gervin. I like her weighted workouts. So what I might do is start incorporating some weighted workouts in. So I'm not too sure who I might try or go with, but it is something worth mentioning because I do like weight training and I do like lifting a little bit heavier than just normal body weight so it's just something that I'm considering but we'll see how it goes but overall I really enjoyed doing the HIIT workouts I felt like I did see some great changes not just in my physical appearance but also in my ability as well so why is it always these hairs on me
So if you are thinking of giving it a go and thinking of trying it, then you have nothing to lose. It's worth trying. And even if you do try it for one or two weeks, then you can always stop and try something new. It really is up to you. When it comes to health and fitness, you need to find something that works for you and keeps you engaged and what you find fun. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Remember, your health journey is about you. So make sure that you are doing the things that you like, keep you engaged and things that you really enjoy. Because if you're not having fun then you're not going to keep on going and also don't forget that if you are thinking about starting your health and fitness journey then start today you don't need to do anything fancy at all it could be as simple as going for a walk maybe it's doing a walking workout trying something very low impact but either way if you are thinking about it then definitely start you won't regret it thank you guys so much for watching i can't say a huge thank you enough to all of you guys for your continued support leave me a comment down below let me know if you've done any hit workouts and let me know the changes that you noticed and how long you did it for those kind of things i always love hearing from you guys now before you go if you did find this video helpful please hit that like button and smash that subscribe and please join this community that we're slowly building together wherever you are i hope that you are taking care of yourself and just remember to be patient with yourself on this journey and you don't have to be perfect it's all about progression and everything takes time thank you guys so much and i'll catch you on my next one bye